about all these engineering students interested in inventing and just tinkering and trying to get them to come up with a solution to our problem, which is getting a great cable car across the track as fast as you can. The students were assigned to come up with a design, given a uh, kit of a motor, some switches, and a battery. We were designed a, uh, a cable car that ran effectively, struck a uh, wall, and reversed back. It's pretty exciting for the students to get a chance to think up some idea in their head and actually, you know, design it and build it and test it and, and have a big competition to see how it you know, does against other teams. So it's, it's a lot of fun for them and us. It's trial and error, a lot of it. I think in the real world you're going to experience a lot of that. And um, for a lot of people just starting out in engineering, I think a lot of the concepts that are relevant to the real world <laughs> are going to translate well here. Really having to rely on one another to do their own task and get things accomplished and just will work as a good team. That's the way they'll really work uh, on the job if they're working for, for Newport New Shipbuilding or for a major you know, auto manufacturer or you know, any sort of company that's designing various products, designing buildings. Uh, they'll be part of a big team and so, so teamwork is a, sort of essential to engineering. Use our imagination, I think, which is a huge part of engineering. You give them a problem and come up with solutions. It came out of the printer and uh, it was off balance, so we had to do a lot of like off-the-shelf modifications with uh, screws and bolts and this and that to make it fully functional. But uh, in the end, hopefully it'll get across and come back, and I think that'll just make us happy. <laughs> Right. We got number 29 too.